Alright guys, this video is going to be my first impressions of Sonic Unleashed for the Nintendo Wii. Um, I've played the game, and I own it, yes! Anyway, I've played it and I own it. It was a Christmas present, obviously. Um, but, uh, I've been, pl I've played it, and I gotta say, this is a very good Sonic game. At least I think it is. Now, there are problems, don't get me wrong. But, this game is fucking awesome. Okay, first of all, I want to talk about the opening scene. Now, people like to s I've heard people say that the Wii's graphical capabilities aren't that great, but I gotta say that the gra- that it looks amazing. Maybe not as good as the, uh, 360 version, but I'll be damned if it is not just spectacular looking. I mean, the first opening scene of that game, it blew me away. I, I mean, I did not expect to look that good on the Wii. And I know that, that that's kind of weird for me to say, because I, I, I'm an avid defender saying, well, you know, the Wii does have good graphics, and you need to quit complaining about it. But I didn't think it would be as good as it was. And I enjoyed it. It was so, it was very cartoony, and that made it all the m more better. Really, it it just made it fun and kind of it made it me laugh at times. It was great opening, great opening. Um, <laughs> there were a few things that were a bit bullshit though. Is um Sonic kind of goes supersonic randomly, and he has the Chaos Emeralds just with him at all times. I guess I guess he ha shoves them e either his fur just like is infinitely deep or he just shoves the chaos emeralds up his ass to hold on to them I'm not gonna complain too much about that because logic in a video game is well you're not gonna find it but um yeah that's just uh, it's a little far for me another thing is is um Sonic he fell for the trap that he gets in really really easily and it seems like and it was a cliched way of doing it, and I know, I mean, I guess you can't really have done it in a different way, but it just bugged me a little. And when Sonic turned into the Werehog, I, I don't, I, uh, it was a little weird. Um, but I gotta say, it was interesting. Um, and, uh, let's see, what else? Um, the Sonic Day Stages. Sonic is a hell of a lot faster than he was, and, um, he can be a little tricky to control at turns, which, I guess I still have to get used to doing the, whatever it's called, where, when you're going on a turn and you press the Z button on the Wii, nunchuck and turn, I can't remember what it's called, but, um, I gotta get used to that still, but it's a little, but he is fast as hell. Now, I gotta say, the Wii controls for it are s just a little y loose, I think. I feel a little, I feel that they're a little loose, a little slippery at times. But, there's, that's enough, it, it's not so bad as to where it's unplayable. It's a little loose, but it's not bad. I mean, it's annoying, yes, but you can adjust to it pretty easily and quickly. Um, let's see, what else? The Werehog thing. I have got to talk about this, because I know that everybody was bitching, oh, so, because I know that when this game was coming out, pe a lot of people were bitching about the Werehog. Well, you know what? You guys need to shut up, because the Werehog stages are very fun. I enjoy those stages. Um, now, you do not move fast. You can run, and I recommend you do that, because walking is annoying and slow, but, um, they're a little stiff, at first, but you adjust to them, and they're pretty decent. They're basically beat em up stages now, though. You know, just go around and beat the shit out of everything. And, um, your speed is replaced by strength, and you can stretch out your arms. Which, you need to do that a lot, so, uh, yeah. Now, the basic plot from what I've played of this game is that Eggman has awakened some dark, evil creature within the Earth, and split the entire earth into different segments. Well, uh, 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 excuse me. Well, and the Chaos Emeralds have all gone black. Gone black. Now the only way for s now the only way to stop this um 
evil being from destroying all life as we know it and turns and also turn Sonic back into the regular Sonic is to of course restore the power of the Chaos Emeralds. And so that's what the plot of the game is. All the while, however, you're traveling around around with this got little kid thing who lost his memory. Um he's kind of like a fox with fairy wings. Oh. Uh by the way, Tails sounds like a girl. Like Tails is a boy, but he sounds like this 12-year-old prepubescent girl, and it's kind of annoying. Hilarious, but annoying. <laughs> um, also, the dialogue in the game is a little bleh, but uh, at times it's it's kind of cliched. And if you've ever watched an anime, you know what I, you you would understand if you've watched an anime and then listened to the dialogue, and it's that's a little bit yeah iffy and I think they should have improved the dialogue but it's a Sonic game I didn't really I don't really I guess if they would have made the dialogue a lot less uh, cliched and um, I can't remember the other word I was gonna use but you know if they would have done that it probably wouldn't have been as good <laughs> what else do I gotta say oh there are a lot of talking scenes in this and I think that I, I like that actually Really, I find the game to be very enjoyable. Um, all around, it's a fun, fun game. I mean, this game... It, Sonic and the Secret Rings, I thought that was a fun game, but it definitely needed some work. Nintendo has definitely improved all the flaws and all the little uh, problems that I found in Secret Rings um, for Unleashed, and I'm very happy because I enjoy Unleashed a lot, man. I mean, yeah, there are flaws, but this game was a lot better. Now, does this... Now, I want to say this really quick. Does this mean that Sonic is back? Maybe. I just... I don't know if Sonic's coming back because of this game. It's People have been saying this is going to be the game that resurrects Sonic the Hedgehog. It's possible. Because this game was good. And I enjoyed it a lot. And I know a lot of other people have enjoyed it. But I don't know yet. Sonic and the Black Knight definitely has something to live up to now. And I know that's going to be a very controversial game with Sonic having a sword. But um, really quickly, I just wanted to say, get the fuck over it. If Shadow can have guns, Sonic can have a sword. And yes, Shadow the Hedgehog wasn't the greatest game on Earth. I kind of liked it, but still, you know. Anyway, Sonic Unleashed for the Nintendo Wii. I recommend it as a buy. Um, if you, if you're unsure about it, though, I mean, it's a fifty-dollar game, and if you don't, how do I say this? If you want to, if you're unsure about whether you're gonna like it or not, because you know, you like Sonic games, but you don't like the new innovation that they've been doing, I recommend you rent it. Because I walked into this thing th saying, you know, this game's going to be good regardless. Because I was very uh, <laughs> I was very optimistic about this game. That could have been bad if it turned out to be a bad game. I would have just wasted $50. But um, I recommend it as a buy. Um, I will... Do a full-scale review of this when I have beaten the game. But yes, yeah, Sonic Unleashed Wii. Pretty good game. Anyway, that's me. Over and out.